Hey everyone, Pastor BJ here, coming to you from Kirkmont Church. There's some really strange verses in the Bible. Uh, if you've ever been reading through your Bible and come across something that just does not make any sense, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And for those of you that have been reading your Bible for a long time, maybe this has happened to you a couple of times. Well, I've decided that starting today, we are going to be doing a series called Bizarre Verses of the Bible. I have a nice cup of high-octane coffee here. And we're going to take off. Okay, so the bizarre verses of the Bible tend to fall into one of three categories. The first one is you've just read the verse out of context or you've maybe read it online and they've just pulled it completely out of its context and it doesn't make any sense. And so uh, that one can sometimes come off as a little bit bizarre. So we're going to hopefully be able to clarify those as we go along. The second one is that a lot of times you'll find verses that are something related to a cultural quirk or something that we don't do or understand anymore and it will come off as very very weird and a couple of them that we're going to be looking at are going to fall into that category and the third one is idioms Hebrew and Greek have some very hilarious idioms that don't make a whole lot of sense to us and the verse that we're going to be looking at today falls into that category all right, so this one comes to us in the book of 2 Kings, chapter 9, and we're going to be reading verse 8. Now, this is an important feature. I'm going to be reading from the King James Version. Here's what the, that verse says. For the whole house of Ahab shall perish, and I will cut off from Ahab him that pisseth against the wall. Yes, that's right, brothers and sisters. You heard me say that correct. For the whole house of Ahab shall perish, and I will cut off from Ahab him that pisseth against the wall. Wait a second. Why am I being bleeped for that? I'm, I'm reading the Bible. Hang, hang on, let me fix that real quick. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here's what it says. For the whole house of Ahab shall perish, and I will cut off from Ahab him that pisseth against the wall. Now, the reason I had to read this from the King James Version is because in the modern versions, you will simply not see this. It translates a very idiomatic phrase in Hebrew that literally says, those who piss against the wall. All right, so let me, uh, let me address the language here. The language of piss is obviously vulgar in our language today, but if you rewind the clock in the English language for very long, you find that it's used quite commonly just to mean to urinate. So this will be the only time you ever hear me say it because I'm reading from the Bible, which is supposed to make that okay. It's okay if it's in the Bible, right? <laughs> okay, so let's talk about this idiom. In the modern translations, you will see that it actually just simply translate it, translates it as male. And in this case, it's saying that the whole house of Ahab will be cut off, will perish, because he's going to kill the males in Ahab's house, which means that his name will not be passed on. So again, you'll see this in the modern translations as translating as to male. But it actually has a little bit more to do with just a, a quirky way of saying male. It's actually kind of a degrading way to talk about males. Similar to the way in which um, in modern English we will use the phrase of a female dog to be degrading to women. Well, the, the idea here is that this is kind of an activity that dogs would contribute it would participate in as well and so uh yes we, instead of just referring to him as a male he's he's the guy peeing against the wall so <laughs> all right so if you have not come across this verse the just keep in mind that there are a number of places where this phrase is used in the king james bible it's actually mentioned in six different places and you can find those verses right here go look them up and you will see that in the King James Bible, all of them translate that phrase the same. Him that pisseth against the wall. But understand this, brothers and sisters. There's a whole lot of very strange things in the Bible. And this is just one of those minor little quirks. So what is the takeaway on this? I don't want you to get frustrated. I don't want you to get weirded out. I want you to use this as an opportunity to dig a little bit deeper into your Bibles, to ask some questions, and to learn. So... If you come across something that you see as bizarre, let me know. I'll do a video about it for you, and we'll dig into it a little bit deeper. Use this 
as an opportunity to read your Bible more. Thank you for taking the time to indulge my vulgar language. I promise you, you'll not hear it from me again. But go in the name of the Lord and be blessed.